Ashley and this is my channel where I share my tips and tricks to live a more sustainable and healthy lifestyle. You're watching Plantyful Picnic. Today I'll be showing you how to make homemade tempeh in an Instapot using whole soybeans. Now I like to make my own tempeh because I can avoid the excess packaging in the grocery stores and tempeh is a very high in protein, calcium, iron, and good probiotics. Now when I first heard about making your own tempeh, I was kind of grossed out about it because you're growing your own, own mold, but don't worry, it's all safe and it's actually kind of fun to watch the mold grow and it's like really fuzzy and fun to pet. But So to make your own tempeh, you will first need whole soybeans. I got these soybeans in bulk from my local Whole Foods and then you need tempeh starter. I got this tempeh starter on Amazon and it's in plastic but it will last me a long time because you only use a very small amount each time you make it. And then some rice vinegar and then instant pot, water, and that's it. And when you're making tempeh, keep in mind that it'll take some time for the soybeans to ferment. It takes at least 24 hours so if you want to make any dinners in the instant pot, make sure you make that before. The first step is to soak the soybeans overnight. I'm just going to roughly measure out about two cups into this bowl. And make sure you soak your beans in a container that's very large because the beans will grow about three times their original size. And cover the beans with plenty of water because they'll soak up a lot of water. So I'm just gonna let these beans sit overnight and then tomorrow morning I'll do the next step. So it's the next morning now and my beans are all completely soaked and now it's time to remove the, the outer shells from the beans. To remove the peels from the soybeans, gently massage the soybeans in the bowl. And make sure you have enough water to cover the soybeans so then you have enough room for the soybean peels to float to the top and then you could use one of these like strainers to just strain them out another thing I found helpful is to just pour off the top layer of water and all of the peels just go into your bowl that way because they didn't float to the top so now I've mostly de all of my soybeans and now I need to cook it in the Instapot. Now I've got my beans in my pot and I'm going to pressure cook this. The Instapot manual said to cook it for 20 minutes, but last time I did 20 minutes and it turned out complete mush, so I'm going to do a lot less time and then check on it and see how it is. So I'm going to try setting it at high pressure for 10 minutes and then I'm going to check on the beans after that. The soybeans are perfectly cooked and that was only 10 minutes so after having the Instapot for so long I realized that you can't always follow like the guidelines that it gives when you buy the Instapot, like that little booklet, because the guidelines it gives in that booklet are just way too long. And this set is supposed to cook for like 22 minutes, and it only cooked for 10 minutes, and it's perfect. So I have this baking sheet, and I'm going to put some towels on it, and we need to dry off. Then we need to dry off the beans. So I'm just going to put the beans on this sheet so they could soak up some of the water. So I'm just putting the beans on this cloth towel and then putting another cloth towel over it to absorb some of the water. And if the bottom towel gets too soaked, you can always add a different towel. And we need to dry the beans, otherwise the mold won't grow well. So I'm just gonna let these sit for a few minutes and absorb the water. Actually, I don't think the soybeans are quite done, so I'm going to put it back in the Instant Pot for probably like two minutes on low pressure. I think this is perfect. 
perfect. I ended up cooking it for 10 minutes on high pressure and then 3 minutes on low pressure. Now I've finished drying the soybeans on the towel and I'm going to add them to a bowl. And next I'm going to add 1 tablespoon of the vinegar. And then one teaspoon of the tempeh starter. And then mix all of that together very well. So all my soybeans are well mixed. And now I'm going to clean my Instapot. It's very dirty. And you want to make sure you have a clean Instapot because you don't want any bad bacteria to multiply. You only want the good stuff. So now it's finally time to ferment my soybeans. I have some, I have two glass jars here. And I looked up some tutorials on the internet how to make tempeh and it all uses plastic bags and of course I don't really want to use plastic bags because it's wasteful and I actually tried using plastic bags the first time I made it and um, it was kind of like a weird shape it's like oblong but I really like using these glass dishes because it's a good like rectangular shape and it just holds its form really well. So my containers of tempeh are all ready to go and now I'm going to put them in the Instapot. So now I'm going to set it on yogurt mode for 14 hours so I can just check it when I wake up in the morning. Now it's the next morning and I'm going to check on the tempeh. Well the mold hasn't started forming yet, but I'm just going to... I'm going to wipe off some of this condensation. Then I'm going to put back on yogurt mode for another 14 hours. It's been 13 hours and I'm going to check back on the tempeh. It's looking good. You see all of that is the mold right there. And that one's really moldy, but it's quite, uh, it's still not moldy enough. It needs to be like completely covered. So I'm gonna put it in for another 12 hours and then check it in the morning. And now it's been 12 hours and it's time to check the tempeh again. Look at that mold. This is exactly what you want. You want the mold to be like completely covering the tempeh and it's like really soft. You can see that the top is completely covered in mold but the bottom isn't so much so I'm going to flip this over so we could get the bottom covered in mold also. So now I'm going to wipe off more of this moisture. Then I'm going to flip these over and put them upside down in the trays so we can get some mold forming on the bottom. Now I'm going to put it back in the Instapot and ferment it for maybe like 10 hours and then check it then. Okay, so it's up for 10 hours and I'll just check it periodically to see how the mold's growing. Now I'm going to check on the tempeh for the final time.
It's looking good. This is what you want. It's completely covered in the white mold, both top and bottom. And finally, my tempeh is done fermenting. That took a total of about 48 hours, which is why I normally like to make a lot of tempeh in an instant pot at once, just because it takes so long. And you could also freeze this for later if you want. And now I'm just gonna cut up my tempeh to use for cooking later. Well, I hope you enjoyed watching today's video, and if you want to get more ideas on what to cook with your tempeh, be sure to subscribe, subscribe to my channel because I'll be posting some videos soon about what to make with tempeh. And I hope to see you soon in the next video. Bye!